One thing I've noticed is that music of the furthest northern regions of the world, the, the, well, there's a kind of a clarity there. There's a, there's a kind of purity and there's a passion. You know, I don't know if it's being cooped up inside all winter that just makes you want to release all kinds of wildness. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the light, maybe it's the northern lights, maybe it's the moon, I don't, I don't know. But there is something special in the far north and you can hear it in the music every time. And uh, so it seemed like a good idea to kind of bring some of these artists that we love and appreciate and, and some that we've worked with before together. There is an instrumentalist. Her name is Ritva Koistinen, and she plays the cantile. And her family has built and played the cantile in Finland for generations. She came to my hotel room one day when I was in Finland, and she brought her instrument. And it's, it's, like, it, it, it's like a little desk, and you kind of open the desk, and in her, inside are all these strings, and she started playing it. It was... Um, yeah, you know, everybody's read about angels playing music in heaven and all that. It was happening that day in my hotel room. She's put together this uh, wide-ranging program of solo cantile music. And it will conclude with uh, a piece that Arvo Perret wrote called Pari Intervallo. And her performance of Arvo Perret's music is without any question the best performance of Arvo Parrott's music I've ever heard. You know, every once in a while, I get really lucky in a CD shop. Now, one day, I picked up one called Prototype by Hurdy Gurdy. And I found out that Hurdy Gurdy was a duo from Sweden that played hurdy-gurdies. The hurdy-gurdy is sometimes known as the Renaissance synthesizer, and it makes all kinds of bizarre sounds, that, some of which you don't normally even associate with a musical instrument, but they turn these sounds into a great fabric, and um, I was enchanted by their music. So we're going to join them on one song, a piece that they wrote for us called Scatter and they will be making their American debut. Kimo Poihonen, he's been called the Jimi Hendrix of the accordion. I think if you kind of combine Jimi Hendrix and James Brown, you might get Kimo. Uh, he's a wild man of the accordion. And Samuel Kosman is you know, one of the most talented live samplers of music that I've ever heard. And uh, we did a project with them called Unico uh, a few years back. and. Uh, in thinking of the far north, one of the first sounds that comes to mind for me is uh, Kimo and Samily. And the only artist I've ever thought of or heard of or, or heard that could follow Kimo and Samily is Tanya Tagak. And Tanya is the empress of Inuit throat singers. She learned throat singing by listening to cassette tapes that her mom had and she'd practice in the shower. She told me this story before. And, but, but the cassette tapes that she heard had two people, two women singing. Well, Tanya basically taught herself how to do what two women did. And there's nobody like her anywhere. And Derek Chark has written this magnificent piece called Tundra Songs. And that's how this evening will conclude.